Glad you all came back here. We continue with the unfinished story of yesterday. Yesterday I asked you if Tua's silence has any meaning. Now let's find the answer together. One of my first subscriber commented in last video, if you, Tua, listen to fans you'll end up sitting at home and in the stands with them. Wow. It is correct. It is definitely right and I guarantee that it is correct. Our thoughts are the same. When you were a star, you should keep quiet before the bad rumors. But no, guys. We are wrong. My kids, after getting paint all over the carpet, got scolded by me. They don't cry, but they just sit quietly and say nothing. Do you know why? I don't know, until my, talkative neighbor, explained to me. My kids need something to release their thinks. They want to explain to me that the cat spilled the colored bottle? But how the hell did the neighbor know that, when I was their father? That is the truth. They do not speak out their thoughts easily. However, for those they feel close to, the children did. With Tua Tungavailoa, Nick Saban is a homie. Before trade rumors and criticism, Tua went to Nick Saban. In a hurry talk. The last time Saban and Tungavailoa talked was just before the rookie was named starter by Dolphins coach Brian Flores in 2021, and the conversation was pretty standard, as coach-player conversations go. The main takeaway, as Saban saw it, was the uncertainty ahead for the quarterback and how he'd handle it. Tungavailoa's answer was just as Saban would have drawn it up. Saban asked him, what's going on there? They gonna give you an opportunity? Saban recounted. And Tua said, I really don't know for sure what their plan is. I'm just gonna work hard and do what I can and try to take advantage of the opportunity if I get it. Whenever deadlines are rushing and your boss forces you to complete, what is your reaction or just working hard? The problem with Tua was even more serious, it was a, star a starting position. Which wasn't taught, it's who Tungavailoa is. That was one piece that Saban saw as huge when he pulled the plug on Hertz, and should be again in how Tua handles the elements around him, and his own play. It is his personality, Saban said. It is a part of his culture to respect other people, to treat other people with respect. I don't know that we've ever had a player that's done it any better than Tua, but that's just who he is. If you ask him, how are you doing today, he'll say, great, thanks for asking. Most guys like that, at 18 years old, they don't say, thanks for asking. It's who he is. So what should Tua do? Or just keep silent like that? Has anyone here ever heard the song, I Dreamed a Dream, on YouTube, which Susan Boyle singed at Britain's Got Talent 2009? A 47-year-old woman on stage. Are you kidding me? But after singing, everyone was silent. And do you believe, Tua is a talented person? What is he person? What is he prepared to carry on the Miami Dolphins? Tua is a person, without much words, but actions will show who he is, and let everyone know who he is. Saban, for his part, couldn't say whether or not Tungavailoa blew everyone away, or looked like a rookie, day to day with the Dolphins before being named starter, beyond what he'd heard from Tungavailoa himself. Saban did tell me, along those lines, that Tungavailoa was really positive about how he was coming along, and confident he could go out there and perform well and help his team win. On top of that, what he did know, for sure, was that the Tua he knows has always been a top-notch practice player, evidenced, in fact, by how he displaced Hertz at Bama. He had really good instincts, and really good ability, Saban said. Tua was always a good practice player. He was always well prepared, went out and worked hard with the receivers to get the timing in the pass game and reads right. He was a guy you'd never have an issue with on anything. The guy was just perfect in doing what the coaches wanted you to do, and that goes back to the fact that he respected the people he was around and he respected the fact that he could improve and develop. Most people who are very, very good have a good coach, and they take coaching because they have humility. Two has always been one of those kinds of guys, Saban end the story. And finally, with a great coach such as Flores, I think there is no reason for Tua to be bad in the 2021 season. But, when Tua doubles, so does Tua's opponents. Let's see how the Broncos keep Tua Tungavailoa out. 40% of Tungavailoa's attempts were, tight window throws, according to next-gen stats, meaning that there was a defender within one yard of the receiver when the ball was targeted that direction. The Broncos had success blanketing Miami's receivers to a degree that wasn't just problematic, it was devastating for the game plan. 
Miami found no easy completions for their young quarterback and because they were chasing the game effectively the entire way, the Dolphins offered no chance to climb back into the action. The Dolphins attempted just eight passes that traveled further than 10 yards beyond the line of scrimmage against the Broncos. Tungavailoa was 0-4. Fitzpatrick was 2-4, including the game sealing interception to Broncos safety Justin Simmons. So, what does Miami Dolphins need to change? Is Tom Brady, Drew Bees, or the Philip River that easy to be hit? All questions will be answered at noon tomorrow, at 1 o'clock. Thank you.